All right, Abe of Illinois, this is your state legislative corner. Yeah, it's Monday morning. A lot of us headed into work. Uh, I'm still in Austin, Texas, working with Texas Abate. And to bring that on, I'm going to bring on my counterpart again, Ski Dodson, talking about the theft of motorcycle safety funds down here in Texas. Something we in Illinois experienced about 10 years ago ourselves, but I think their version might be a little bit worse. Ski, if you would. Thank you, sir. We're here at the Capitol. I just got done swabbing my nose so we can go inside and talk to our reps today. The very first representative we're going to talk to is Senator Birdwell. And Senator Birdwell is a little bit uh, uh, informed and he knows a little bit about our problem that we're having with this 501 fund. But back in uh, during the 85th legislative session, we passed a bill uh, for our motorcycle funds. And this bill said that uh, money deposited to the credit of the motorcycle education fund may be used only for administrating the motorcycle operating training program and for conducting share of the road program. And that's how it's written in our transportation bill. So we thought that's awesome. We now have our dedicated funds for motorcycle safety and awareness and for share of the road program. Finally, our money's going to be spent the way it was intended to be spent. Uh, so Texas State Bay took it upon themselves to follow the money, make sure it's being spent as it is. Well, things just kept getting worse because it's not being followed. Uh, we found out over a period of six years that the DPS have misappropriated somehow. I'm sure it was a, uh, a bookkeeping error of some sort, but they uh, ended up spending between four to six million dollars that was not related to full motorcycle safety and awareness. So DPS, that's your version of the state police, right? DPS is Department of Public Safety. You can see their cars everywhere. Uh, yeah, they pretty much... Uh, do the state police jobs. So you had a dedicated motorcycle safety fund and the state police took two to six million dollars out of it to pay their own salaries. Well, a uh, little bit of background history. When we passed SB 754 that uh, dedicated our funds, the DPS was the Department of Public Safety. Not really state police or police, but the Department of Public Safety. They do a lot of licensing. Uh, they used to do motorcycle training, uh, various things. DPS is, is pretty good. Uh, uh, public service that we have, but they didn't use our funds as intended. We found out that uh, 93 salaries were paid out of this. Some of the salaries include uh, FICA insurance and uh, retirement funds, health insurance, uh, to the tune of uh, $246,000 worth of payroll that we paid. Uh, we bought two pickup trucks for $96,000 and a couple of trailers full of uh, golf carts and what have you. So none of that is motorcycle safety and awareness. We feel like if we had $4 million, we could sure put a lot of people through that motorcycle training course, and hopefully that would help uh, lower our fatality rates here in Texas, which is sky high. But uh, Birdwell is the only senator that we're going to talk to today about these funds. He was at the Sunset Commission. And sorry about that, folks. We had a sudden wind gust come up. That's the danger of danger of doing live video here. So we had to grab his documentation real quick. So Ski has put together about a 90-page little binder full of documentation on this issue. That's the importance of be belonging to groups like Abate. Uh, they're in Illinois, Abate of Illinois, myself, our team over there. We watch the Motorcycle Safety Fund to make sure money isn't being misappropriated. And here in Texas, my friend Ski here is doing the exact same thing, and we're taking care. They're taking care of their business down here. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to help them down in the capital today. Uh, we found out our flight got moved up, courtesy of the ice storm happening back there in Illinois. So we're getting ready to head to the airport and get out of here. I hope the videos down here from Texas have been helpful to everybody out there. Uh, until then, we'll talk to you later this week.